So today I'm with Alyssa, Sandy, and Linda, and we're going to be talking about what their advice is for first-time home buyers. So I said, th here's the question I posed. Um, if you had to give one tip to first-time home buyers, they're not working with us, okay? They're, they're in one of those states I'm not licensed, Utah or Rhode Island. What would you tell them as they go into this wilderness, wilderness of home ownership alone? Okay, who's going first? Are we gonna? Yeah, can we do rock paper scissors? Let's let's do that again. We gotta time it right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? Oh, why is it listen? Okay. <laughs> <We're> so bad. <laughs> Synchronized swimming at the Olympics. Here we come. <laughs> let's start over. Okay. Ready? I'm gonna say start, and then it's. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, All right. All right. Okay. Ready? Ready? Start. We all I have mean, scissors. I no, no, paper, no, paper, scissors. Alyssa wins. Okay, I, mean, I win. Oh, I just have to say, Alyssa got to scissors with like a 30 second delay from when you guys both I had saw paper that out. Too. I, I saw that too. But, <laughs> but we're going to let her cheat code but, win. But you get to go first. There you go. Okay. okay, Alyssa, number one tip for first time home buyers they're not working with us because obviously that would be the easiest for them and us. But yeah, ready. Yeah, I would say just you know, make sure you're comfortable with who you're working with. I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, my cousin told me to call this person or my aunt told me to call this person and they just go with it or roll with it. Mm -hmm. But they don't take time to actually interview who they're going to be working with. And I feel like this is, you need somebody you connect with um, because they're the ones who's going to be walking you through everything. They're going to be answering all your questions. You know, they're going to be, helping you every step of the way. And I feel like that just goes such a long way instead of just having a cold conversation that somebody just kind of trying to push you through the, the, process. the process. Yeah. So you need someone. So regardless of who you get referred and, and I agree a hundred percent, like you've got to connect with the person mm -hmm. and you have to feel comfortable asking questions. Because exactly. if you're not comfortable asking questions, buying a house is super confusing. Oh, like, yeah. And if you go down Reddit or, you know, even YouTube, like, uh, there's so many different opinions. Well, and when I'm talking to somebody and it's just like a normal flowing conversation, they're like, oh, I thought about this or, oh, I thought about this. And then all the questions start coming in the conversation. It's just not like, what's your credit score? Have you worked for two years? Do you have any bankruptcy? You know, it's not just a robotic screen conversation. I'm like, oh, so like, where are you looking to move? Or, mm -hmm. you know, what's your, how much have you saved for your down payment? Or what are your goals? What, you know, yeah. and then they start, all the questions start flowing and they're like, oh, I never would have even thought to think to ask that. But, you know, and I think it's just make sure you're comfortable with, with who you're working with because, you it's an educational process the whole entire way so i look i think that's a really good one um because a lot of the horror stories that i get texted at 3 a.m <laughs> it's always 3 a.m <laughs> yeah oh, uh, oh my it's, god <laughs> it, it's always starts off as you know i've never liked this lender you know my real estate agent said to use them this mm -hmm. is what's going on now i'm miserable help and i'm like do you want me to call now and they're like yes and i'm like oh wow this is bad Everyone watching, please don't call me at 3 a.m. I only respond <laughs> if I have insomnia and we're trying not to have that. Um, okay, so that's a really good one. Okay, Sandy, Linda, let's see if we can get our synchronized swimming going here. All right, let's see. Uh, wait, wait, are you going to say start? <laughs> I mean, does it matter? You started without me saying start. <laughs> so now there's, a, I, I'm just more mystified by the fact that like, my lighting's crazy. Can we talk about this? Like, yeah, you, like, you look like an angel. I, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm like in an interrogation room right now. You guys are having a slumber party. Like, I don't even know what's going on. You're at the same place, which I'm still bitter about. Okay. I'll say start. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Start. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Oh, you're next. Linda Linda. Linda. Okay. I, I'm just gonna, yeah, there you go. Um, I'm going to say, um, don't try to be too crazy and talk to too many lenders. And because when you, when you tell someone you're going to buy a home, everyone's going to have, Oh, you should call this person. You should call that person. 
there's going to be a lot of that or you're going to you can call whoever you know best and I feel like people who talk to too many lenders just end up getting more confused. Mm-hmm. So it kind of ties in with Alyssa, like go with someone you trust. And there could be, you know, when you're sorting that out, trying to find out who you trust, don't try to sort out more than three lenders at a time because I think two personally, but yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. You know, you want to be ambitious. It- three is the max. You're going to get so confused talking to so many different lenders and you're probably going to end up screwing yourself if you do that. Cause you're going to be so 100%. confused. You're going that's to a really good with point. Someone. Yeah. Yeah. That's I, and I think I've noticed. Well, sometimes too, like people will fill out like nine applications. They're like, well, I filled out nine yeah. applications because like you going on lending to shop. or something. Yeah. 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 They tell me to shop in my, in your videos, Jen. And I'm like, okay, but like, look, interview lenders first, see yeah. who you're comfortable with only fill out applications with those people. Yeah. You know, also check the security of who you're filling applications out with. You know, there's a lot of fly by night companies where, I mean, in fairness, all of our social security numbers were just hacked mm, yeah, there's that. in the nation. This isn't, yeah. I mean, if you guys yeah. are watching the news, did you guys all freeze your credit? Mine's already frozen. Mine has been frozen. Yeah. 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 Okay. So uh, anyone who's watching this, there was a huge, what, I don't know what they broke into, but all social security numbers were hacked. So everyone should freeze their credit. Side note. Okay, Linda. So uh, let me ask you another question on this, because I think this is important. And I'm guessing what your answer is, and I could be wrong. So it could be embarrassing. (laughs) Someone calls and they're like, hey, Linda, you're your lender eight of nine. I want you to fight for my business. What's your like gut reaction to that? My gut reaction to that is kind of not good. (laughs) I would be like, all right, I'm number nine or eight or whatever. Okay. You know, I would still do my best, but if I know I'm competing with eight to nine different lenders, I'm not going to, I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to be, okay, yes, I'm going to do whatever I can for you. I'm going to try because I know you're talking to eight or nine other people. I mean, where does that? They're going to get confused. Yeah. You're going to get confused. You're not going to remember. What questions are you asking? You know, like how are you shopping? I like to ask. Yeah. I would. uh, Yeah. That's a good question. When you're shopping lenders, what are you asking other than rate? Are you asking if they pre underwrite you? Are they asking how quickly, you know, have you looked at their their reviews? Let let me role play with you real quick here, Alyssa. I want the lowest (laughs) rate, Alyssa. And uh, like, (laughs) if you want this business, you're going to have to like drop it. Like it's hot. Well, okay, I so would you... call Sam for that. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I, um, I mean, we don't get those type of phone calls, thank God. But I, I would say, okay, first of all, let's look at all your loan estimates because we need to compare apples to apples because mm-hmm. rates change daily and yeah. we'll see what ours is. We need to see what the fees are. Um, and what I think is more important than rate and fees are – are you pre underwritten? Is it a call center? How long has Mm -hmm. the lender been doing business? I'm huge on service and connection with somebody like I mentioned in what I think is helpful. Um, So yeah, I feel like if if they had a lot of questions that weren't just rate shopping, it would Mm -hmm. weed out eight of those lenders. Mm-hmm. Oh, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. And I, and I pose the question because I know when someone says to me something and like, if it's aggressive like that too, like, you know, I, my, in my head, I just go bye. Yeah. And yeah. And it's, I'm it's non-confrontational. Like, so I'm like, Oh, all right. <laughs> I, I that lenders are a commodity. Like we're eggs, mm-hmm. right? Like I'm going to the yeah. grocery store, I'm buying eggs. And it's like, when you know the industry, we are the furthest thing from it because mm-hmm. you've got such varying levels of experience and integrity, mm-hmm. right? Like, oh my goodness, integrity. integrity is like next level. But I, you know, and look, I think, I think every lender should be competitive on rate and fee. Like we say that all the time. Um, but no, that was a, that was a good one. I was not expecting you to say that, but that's <laughs> solid. Now Sandy's yeah. feeling the pressure. Um, Sandy, <laughs> Sandy, Sandy, Sandy always more. delivers. Like, let's, Come let's on. start there. Show Are us how it's done, Sandy. Like, like what's going to be happening? I know I'm going to lose on, I guess, rock, paper, scissors <laughs> is not my strong point today. I, I mean, I, like, was this all on purpose? Did you want to be last? I did. Yeah, I sabotaged yeah. it. Totally on purpose. Told you. <laughs> I knew That's it. Sandy always has a plan. Sandy yeah. always has a plan. Okay. Yeah, she does. 
So uh, my biggest piece of advice for first time home buyers is to make sure that you so if you're not asking questions, uh, you're not going to get to the bottom of, of what people are trying to say, right? Like you're not going to be able to weed out who's got the best service. You know, are you going to connect if you're not asking those questions kind of to piggyback off of what Alyssa said? Um, and, and there's no such thing as a dumb question. So don't mm-hmm. be asked that. I think it's a red flag too, because sometimes I'll talk to people. I, I, I don't know if everyone on this channel has realized, but most of the phone calls I take are when people are in really bad trouble. And, you know, a lot of times it's like, yeah, like, and I'm like, well, did you ever ask them this? They're like, well, anytime I ask for a question, they just said they were the professional and to just do what they say. Yeah. I, I, are, do you guys, what do you guys hear on the front end about that? Do you feel like people just don't know what questions to ask or they're scared to ask questions? Like, Both. Yeah, I talked to I talked to somebody last week who their uh, lender literally would get super angry at them if they asked any questions. She said, you know, I, I would just ask, you know, I don't understand the discount points. What does that mean? And he would just get angry with her. And, and she said about the third or fourth time when he made me cry, I realized I needed <gasps> to maybe work with somebody else. It was That's I felt crazy. bad for her. What state was this? I, I have one in my head. I'm just curious if I'm right. Uh, Pennsylvania. I'm- Oh, okay. I didn't see that. I'm not going to say the state that I thought it was, but, um, wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it makes, that's a it red flag sense. to not work with them. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. Well, it you sounds like she felt questions. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, can you even imagine? Like, well, people, I feel like get intimidated because they, this is an all new playing field for them. They're not taught anything and they know it can be done because, People and their family have bought houses or, I mean, obviously people buy houses all the time, but nobody teaches you how to do this. And so they're just intimidated. So I could see how they're like, okay, well, this person, this is their job. You know, they Mm -hmm. know what they're doing. I guess I should trust them. But for somebody to make somebody feel so belittled to where they cry, like that's crazy. I I wonder, Sandy, if it was the same lender that laughed at you when you did your conversation. (laughs) I wondered. I wondered. You're, Good thing you're I like scan. <laughs> otherwise, I would have cried. Oh my gosh. Um, look, and, and Alyssa, I think it's good you brought that up. And that's why people should be putting this channel just on. Like, you can play every single video I've ever done, and there's over 2,000. So, what we have found through zero studies and zero research is that if people <laughs> play my entire channel while they sleep, <laughs> it will subconsciously go into their brain and they have to do this every single night for like, you know, as long as they're shopping really until they close. That's, that's, that's my top tip. My top tip for first time home buyers. Um, and here's the good news. The good news about this is all the time that they're sleeping, they're raising money for charity. So yeah. um, oh, I don't even know yeah. if you guys know this. Do you guys even know this? All the, the money that yes. we make on YouTube yes. gets donated to charity. So because I um, listen to it while I sleep too. So, <laughs> Elinda, just Sandy, Alyssa, you better watch your back. Employee of the right Month now. Award coming up. Yeah, soon. sounds like we're well, when you told me, of the month. well, you told me I had to. I did. Oh, that's it. that is true. I, I actually may have said that. I, I'm going to get a wall behind me in my interrogation room where I have Employee of the Month. It's just going to be Linda's picture. Yeah. Well, a, the wall. thing is, when, when wall. people Same call, picture. they say like, Oh, sorry. I just have one more question or sorry. And I'm like, do not apologize. Like I am employed by your Mm -hmm. questions. Like my job (laughs) is to answer the phone and answer every single question you have, like hang up and call again. And no, yeah. take up all my time. Yeah. <laughs> if we don't know the answer, because look, sometimes I think people expect, and it makes me nervous on calls because they expect us to know everything. Oh, and yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. guidelines constantly change, you know, depending on the loan type, a lot of it's up to the underwriter. There's unique situations, unique scenarios. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the beautiful thing is we have direct access to, I mean, look, we have our own processors who will be like, ah, but like, cause they're pirates basically. But then we also have direct access to underwriters who will be like, yeah, this will work. Yep. Or this won't work yeah. or, you know, yeah. ask this. Uh, which I think is a huge benefit that a lot of lenders don't have that uh, underwriting on tap the way we do. Well, I love it because I'm like, there's so many different situations and 
it's a learning experience for me too, Mm -hmm. you know? And I'm like, Oh, I'm not a hundred percent on this. Let me ask my underwriter or Sandy because she knows everything. And (laughs) (laughs) I always say that I do get, and we always get back to our clients. Oh yeah. 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 So, okay. So look, and for anyone who made it this long, congratulations. You may be the employee of the month. We're not sure. Uh, (laughs) Once again, the key takeaways are find someone you trust. Mm -hmm. Um, Make sure you ask questions. Oh, the other one was really good. Oh, Don't shop nine you lenders. You know what it is. You know what it oh, is. Oh, my man. earphone fell out. My <laughs> earphone. Oh, oh Watch your headed. videos to sleep. Yeah. But that, that was actually what I was going to end with as the most important. Subconscious learning is huge. You can program your brain to do anything. So, uh, yeah, program it to learn loans. Okay. Ladies, thank you for joining me. Everyone who's watching, if you book a time on the calendar, which is always free, if you call the team number, this is who you're talking to. So if you're scared of buying a house, there's no reason you should be. This is who you're talking to. Once again, <laughs> Alyssa in the ball hat. She, We don't know what's going on. It's always a ball hat. So, okay, guys. <laughs> oh, wait, I have to give out the team number. Let's see if I get it right. Because apparently we have some people who watch us on TV. I apologize in advance because that's some high (laughs) definition stuff. Um, The team number is 786-933-2077. You can call and text it, not 24 hours a day. You can, we just won't respond because we do, we do sleep. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay. Hey guys, turn those videos on the background. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.